Hello lovely people, I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Caroline for Kalicious Loves. In today's video, I will be sharing with you some of the pieces that you will see a lot more this spring, spring 2023. You might have some of these pieces in your wardrobe. This is the time to bring them out or you may not. And if you like to stay on trend, these are pieces you might want to consider buying. Spring has not actually sprung, unfortunately. It's like raining outside right now. The calendar says it's spring, so why isn't the outside doing the same? I'm confused, guys. Eventually, I'm sure the weather will get better. I hope so, I hope so. And when it does, these are the pieces that you will see a lot more. A trench coat is a classic piece. It's a transitioning piece. Um, this is a piece I would definitely recommend investing in it doesn't have to be expensive but if you're not really an on-trend kind of person this is a piece that would uh be great for your wardrobe it's mainly uh made out of cotton uh so it's very light uh, the inspiration came during the war you know most of the military guys used to wear it and now it's become a fashion piece called for those days when it's not too hot and it's not too cold and if you have it in your wardrobe somewhere it's time to start bringing it out i've got mine here i think i've got like four trench coats now <clears throat> i need to stop buying i've got this olive green from we and i think i've got enough trench coats to set me up for this spring i've seen quite a few four leather trench coats going around but i think a classic cotton trench coat is fine it will always be on trend the name is a no-brainer it's always it's always in fashion 365 days a year there is an opportunity to wear denim and i don't think you can wear denim any time of the year and you look out of place although this year this spring particularly i've seen a lot of frontal um slit denim skirts some of them are mid some of them are maxi and i'm just really really loving it although i feel like it's a, going to be like a short-lived um trend so if you're okay with that go on and purchase you know a frontal slit skirt if you want uh but if you know that maybe in a year or you know after the spring you won't really like it then just just look at those people wearing it and admire them but that's that's one piece that i've been seeing a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot more i did get one i think that was like about two years ago but one thing about me is that when i buy something and i don't really you know it's not really touching me i'm not really feeling it it's easier for me to give away so i did give it away and here we are it's come back so i'm not really going to buy it because i know that i had it before and i gave it away so it's very likely that i'll buy it wear it one or two times and then give it away so no but if it's for you then go ahead and get it floral dresses Ooh, i love me some spring floral dresses are always in during springtime sunny you know the trees and the flowers are blooming like we've got like a, a, a floral tree up our road and it's bloomed now i mean like it was sunny for like a day and it just bloomed and it was beautiful most designers are inspired by the new season the flowers so you're likely to see floral prints a lot more it's long sleeve uh, maxi dresses or mid dresses I love it. I've got a couple of floral dresses in my wardrobe, so I don't think I'll be purchasing any more. But if any catches my eye, then mm, I will oblige. And um, these are really cute dresses because you can actually style them even in autumn, depending on the floral print that you've got. Cargo pants are back. I talked about them in my previous video, I think two previous videos ago. Uh, and I showed you guys on how to style them. And yes, they are back. For some reason, they are back. And I have one, not two, just one. One is enough, okay? So if you know that you really like them and you might wear them a couple more season then go ahead and get it but if not then maybe this is just the trend you might just want to watch until it comes back again you will see a lot of pastel colors spring symbolizes um a time of rebirth of growth of new seasons uh you will see colors so pastel colors are colors that 
have just enough white to make them pale so it can be any color but that looks slightly pale for example i have got this top here i don't think the screen justifies it i think maybe because there's a bit of a lot more light um this is green right but it's like a light very light green baby pink baby blue they tend to go towards pastel so it, i guess pastel is just a nice way of saying it other than saying baby <laughs> so you see a lot more colors like that for example this one it's like a lilac it's not like a deep purple but we all know it's purple it's just a lighter version of it so here we go they're light they're soft and they're not too daunting they're not heavy so i guess it really goes well with the season i like them when it comes to tops especially dresses even shoes mm, yes cute 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 i used to have one lilac sandal i don't know where that went i won't lie you guys my wardrobe i feel like i think most people I always say that I'm buying stuff, but I've also realized that I give out my stuff a lot more. Like literally, over the past five years, there are pieces of like, oh my god, where is that item? Blazers. I'm wearing a blazer right now. This is a double-breasted blazer from um, H&M. It's cream white in color. I mean, on the screen it looks white, but it's cream white. Before this video, I was actually counting the number of blazers that I have. And I think I've got about 19. It's too much. I'm not buying blazers anymore. Okay. But blazers are a great transitioning piece. They're a great everyday piece. And for spring, because we are getting into a, a season that's slightly warmer. So we won't need to wear our heavy cords. We won't need to layer up with all these knits and all these jumpers. So a blazer is a great transition. You can actually style it down and style it up. You can wear it to work, you can wear it to church, you can, you can wear it out with the girls, you can wear it to the club. If you get the right blazer, it's a great investment. I mean, I have like 19 plus blazers, so th th this is me preaching to you. That's one piece. Out of this whole video, I would probably say, if you do not have, you need to get cute knitted jumper. So... If you live in the UK, a jumper is a no-brainer. But it's spring, we're all looking cute, and eventually it's gonna get sunny somehow and slightly colder. I know just because it's sunny does not mean it's hot, yeah? So you, you wanna go out and wear that cute jumper, whether it's your favorite color or whether it's got flowers on them, whether it's got prints on them, something just really cute. I'm a girly girl, so a cute jumper is always the win. I've got this this jumper that I got from and, uh, and other stories. It's got a v-neck at the back and it's sort of like off the shoulder and I think it's cute. So this is my cute um, jumper. To keep me warm on those days that are slightly cold. So that's it from me guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you've got some of these pieces in your wardrobe or all these pieces, this is the time to start bringing them out because eventually spring will sprung. If you don't, then you might want to consider maybe purchasing some of these pieces. And if you're not really into them, that's fine. Sometimes you don't really have to be into anything. All right, I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye.